Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is Thursday, April 19, 2012. There's a lot to cover, so let's jump right into the charts. First, we're going to start off with the S&P 500 E-mini futures. You can see by looking at this chart, the futures have been all over the map, as high as 1390 at 4 o'clock in the morning, and as low as basically below 1380 uh, just a little while ago. Now they're trading at 1384. And um, this has been a volatile, volatile pre-market session. Now, there's a lot of earnings coming out, but the big news, obviously, is the news coming out of Spain. Spain was able to um, pull off a 10-year bond auction. It looks like um, the auction wasn't so great as the Spanish market is declining this morning. But nonetheless, they were able to get the, uh, the auction done. And um, once again, the central banks come in, they buy the bonds, and uh, that's how it plays out. Um, you do have Spain down about 1.4% at the moment. Italy is trading down about three quarters of 1%. Then the German DAX and the French CAC 40 are both down about four tenths of 1%. But anyway, you slice it or dice it, the market does not seem to be too much uh, too affected by the bond auction. This bond auction was talked about for days, and that which is talked about really doesn't cause any fireworks. Um, well prepared, and it looks like the market's just in this trading range. What I would think today is going to bring us is just another volatile trading session, much like yesterday, and we'll see if that does play out. A couple of other things to go over this morning. Um, first, you do have uh, oil up a little bit, so the USO um, is basically trading uh, around the 3909 level, closed at 3905, so basically flat, just a, little, a slight bit higher. Gold is down a little bit. You'll take a look at the GLD this morning. You'll see the GLD is starting to get a little bit of a pop now as the dollar starts to pull back. But as long as the dollar is strong, gold should go lower. I don't really see a lot of upside for gold here um, if the dollar remains strong. If the dollar starts to sell off, then obviously um, you'll, you'll watch for a move in gold and silver to the upside. Uh, let's take a look at the U.S. dollar index. Right now the dollar is up 22 cents. However, uh, you can see here the dollar, dollar really bottomed out around 4 o'clock in the morning. It's been chopping around. It looks just inverse to the uh, to the S&P 500 E-mini futures. You'll also notice here as the dollar started to pull back over the past hour, you can see how the futures have caught a bid. And I'll just click back to the futures chart, and you can see the futures over the past hour have caught a bid higher. So that's what we're looking at right now. Just a very choppy market, but the markets are higher today ahead of the opening bell, and um, we'll see how it all plays out and shakes out. Once uh, everything gets going at 9.30, right now it's only 8.25 in the morning. A couple of things to go over, some big stocks today. One is Bank of America reporting earnings. Stocks having a pretty good reaction, trading up a little bit. I don't see all that much for it, to be honest. Um, maybe it goes up a little higher from here, maybe it doesn't. I wouldn't do anything with Bank of America. The pattern, the gap up is not really very strong, and it's not very weak. If the stock does fall, it's going to have a lot of support around eight dollars and twenty cents um, that would be the support level that you could look for an intraday bounce if it rallies higher there's not a lot I would do with it either way at this stage of the game um, I'm, not, I'm just not really sold that it's gonna rally up to the upside all that much let's take a look at Morgan Stanley that's another leading financial stock that's having a good day good reaction to earnings I don't think they made money but I think they lost money but lost uh, lost money and guided forward or something of that nature. It doesn't really matter though. We only care about the price action. This stock is reacting pretty nicely, trading above the 19 level. It has upside to 19 uh, to $20.30. $20.30. Uh, do not expect any more upside from there. If the pattern is right intraday, it, it could be an intraday short. However, um, it is a strong gap and you want to give it that upside bias and you got to really be uh, a, a technician to know when to hold them, know when to fold them, and know when to walk away. This one will have strength into $20.32. Uh, let's take a look at Yum Brands. It's another leading restaurant stock. Right now, the stock is trading around $71.65, closed at $72.94. So it's down just a little bit. I'm not going to make too much out of this one. Um, if it does take take out the 70 level, this thing likely is to get to 67 67 bucks over the next couple of days, but there's a lot of support at 68, which is also the daily chart 50 moving average. Uh, I'm not sure it gets down there, but watch those levels. 68 
and then ultimately 67. Uh, those will both be bounce areas for the stock. Uh, let's take a look at eBay. eBay reported earnings. Stock is doing pretty well this morning. Um, there is a lot of resistance at 41 bucks if it gets up there. I'm not sure it even does that, but uh, 41 will be a lot of resistance. This is a good pattern, good sign of strength for the uh, auction maker. But um, $41.20, 41 dollars and 20 cents, 41.25. It's a wall of resistance around there. Stock will need to pull back. I don't see it getting any higher than that level. If you own it, I would probably take profits up there. Let's take a look at EMC. It's another uh, one of those old tech makers um, getting sold off a little bit today. This stock has a ton of support though, uh, right around $27.70, dollars and 70 cents, 27 dollars and 68 cents, right in that level. If it falls lower than there, you're going to look at $26.67 and then $25.64. All of those levels should give you bounces beginning with $27.68. Okay, so watch that. Stock is down. It's a strong gap down. So these are just intraday bounces, nothing more. Let's take a look at DuPont. DuPont, another market leader. Um, this stock is really just flat at the moment. I'm not seeing much there. $53.50. I'm um, looking at the gap. It probably, on the max move to the upside here, you're probably looking at about $54.70. That could be a short candidate at that level uh, if it gets up there. So watch that area. And if it falls, it probably comes down to the 51 area. There will be pretty good support there intraday as well. Uh, if it breaks through 51, then the thing's on a roller coaster ride to the downside. Don't touch it until $49. Um, and that's really all I'm seeing for DuPont at the moment. Let's take a look at some big movers today. Here's Gilead. Gilead had a drug out there, um, hepatitis drug that I think is getting some favorable reviews by the FDA. Um, this drug, I mean this stock I should say, not the drug, this stock uh, has a ton of resistance around $55. I would watch it there. I think it's overbought around that level. And the projected upside would be the double top on a daily chart, which is around 56.42. So resistance at both levels. It's a pretty decent gap up this morning on drug news, but I think it, the stock has a chance to be faded around those areas. Um, let me take a look at this other one here, MLNX. This stock is uh, catching a big bid. This is probably fade candidate of the day. The only problem is that the volume is just so light, I'm not really sure how high this squeezes. I have not been uh, able to figure out or haven't had a chance at least to figure out where the resistance point would be. But either way, this is overblown to the upside, overextended, it's a weak gap up. So it's a potential fade candidate, but it's a very thin, light volume stock. Normally trades just around 300,000 shares a day, so these things can get exaggerated to the upside and I think it is exaggerated to the upside at the moment but um, this is probably a fade candidate up here around this $55 $54 level uh, another one I'm looking at this morning was human genome everybody remembers this stock uh, getting a buyout takeover uh, bid from one of its partners um, there's not a lot to do with this one you could just pretty much if you own it congratulations you take some profits you want to hold it you can to see if they look for more money I'm not sure they're gonna get it but either way it's it's just a real nice move for human genome this morning uh, really doubling in price closed yesterday at seven dollars and seventeen cents today trading just underneath the fifteen bucks so real nice move for human genome but there's nothing to do there with a hostile takeover so we'll leave it at that uh, once again I just want to point out that you want to watch the US dollar index today very closely the dollar goes up, the market will go down, and vice versa. Um, the dollar has been ruling the roost as of late, and it will continue to do so. I believe weekly jobless claims are out. Jobless claims are, I believe, the five four-week average is up five, uh, 5,500 to 374,000 jobs. Futures are coming in just a touch, but the market really could care less about jobless claims. What it cares about is the dollar, and watch the dollar closely throughout the rest of the day. Okay, with that said, everybody, I will leave it here. Have a great trading day. We'll see you all on uh, the charts tomorrow morning. Take care now.